Hello everyone, this is Rick the Squirrel and today we'll be discussing my collection of King Kong figurines. And this is probably my first ever talk about collection thing. So you're probably going to see me or hear me stutter a lot. So uh, just letting you all know. So this right here is the Skull Island Lanyard Kong. I know a lot of you will probably recognize this. It's pretty crazy that this was like $20, $25. It's really worth the price. Not today, though. It's like hundreds of dollars now. But, like, it's a really cool figure, especially since it's like 18 inches tall. And uh, speaking of tall, here's the... Uh, Mezco Giant Kong, like this only had like 300 made or something like that. So, I sort of had to get it because I really like giant stuff. And there's me trying to like push it on this long table because we got lots of stuff to show. Like my collection grew ever since like Godzilla vs. Kong. I just wanted to look out and see other figures. And speaking of which, I went and got this... Mezco, this very old Mezco King Kong from 2005. He's really cool and funny coincidence. Uh, another old figure I found from this guy, I forgot his name, but I can link it in the description, his na name and his company in the description, but he's a really nice guy and I got that Japanese 76 Kong figurine still sealed. That thing was like one dollar in Japan at the time. I got him for a hundred bucks, I think. And this is the Walmart exclusive Funko Giant Kong with the neon light. I sort of had to get him. He just sort of stands out. I'm not a fan of Funko Pops. I do have a couple. One is for a meme, and the other is just for an autograph. This one was also just because at the time, in 2017, I didn't have enough. King Kong figure, so I got that Skull Island one with the helicopter. And this was like the last King Kong figure that I got before I did this video. Or Monkey Month in total. The one with the axe. And I really love King Kong with the axe, so you're going to see a lot of monkey with axe in this. And uh, here's an X Plus Death for Real uh, Kong with the Mirror Squid. That's like a very popular thing on YouTube, lots of views. And it's right there. And you can see in the background, I have that deluxe version of the first Kong from Kong Skull Island X Plus or Star Ace one that's holding the helicopter and has the little base. That's a really good figure as well. And I found this at a thrift store, this NECA King Kong bobblehead with him standing over the V-Rex. It, it looked kind of cool, so I wanted to put it there. It kind of goes well with the Death for Real King Kong right over there. And, uh... Oh, here's another monkey with axe. The one that lights up the Mega Kong. It's kind of sad, really, because there's another Mega Kong from the animated series called Mega Kong, where he form... Like, it's a form he takes that makes him, like taller and stronger so it's kind of sad if you're trying to like f find that out he's just going to revert to this figure and here's this standard giant con that for some reason was painted all black when he's only he's like painted brown everywhere else like on the rest of the figures and in the movies so i don't know what that was about and here's like the other better pl playmates figure the one for con school island which is a lot more accurate and a lot more cool, in my opinion. So yeah, these are pretty much like the giant figures. I got some other ones here too. This Mega House Kong with the axe. I got this at G-Fest in 2022. Fair warning though, the axe paint on it will like to like... What's the word? Like it'll come off real easily. So like don't put your hands on the paint or the blue part of the axe. He's a pretty cool figure, but I got him overpriced over at G-Fest while another, like, seller over there was, like, five feet away selling for, like, $100 less. Go figure. Here's this 
that for real X plus standard calm figure with the axe. I really love monkey with axe, don't I? Right there. So yeah, what I was saying before about how Mega Con is a form in Con the Animated series. And then there's this little keychain, Gia's Doll of Calm. You don't really have a lot of these, so when I found that, it was pretty cool to get. And, yeah. This right here is a mask that a friend of mine gave to me recently. And it was just that fan-made thing. And here's this little uh, clay thing of a uh, King Kong I made four years ago. This was when there was supposedly supposed to be a stone axe for Kong. Because I sort of knew back then that Kong was going to have an axe. There was some sort of rumor from some YouTuber like was talking about it in a live stream. And here's this uh, NECA plushie Kong. It's really weird that he has like a crown on his head. The only time he's had a crown was for the 76 movie. Unless that's what he's... Unless that's what NECA was pulling from. So yeah. That's a bunch of giant cones. Is there anything else? Because... I know I'm probably... Oh, here is the U2's Kong on the Throne. I love this scene from Godzilla vs. Kong. I had to have this, even though there's no other company that really has done this, so I really wanted to get it. He's really cool looking. Is there anything else? Because uh, I'm still trying to... Oh, now we're cut because uh, I moved them over there because we're going to the smaller figures now on the list. Here's this uh, King Kong Skull Island like glasses thing. I probably never open them because you know I don't drink. Over there is the uh, King Kong SH Monster Arts exclusive San Diego Comic Con version that I got. And there's like the standard one holding one of the accessories of that exclusive one because I wanted him to hold up the head of Mechagodzilla. I didn't really want to have two Monster Art Cons with axes. And you can see like the little heaves the exclusive one comes with and there's like a NECA biplane that you'll see later from a bunch of other NECA cons from NECA. The uh, that is the Mezco standard King Kong one like from based on like the King Kong Skull Island property which is supposed to be owned by the Cooper estate which is what Disney's working on. And then here's this Playmates, uh, I forgot what it was called, but it's the transforming one, and he looks really silly, but I had to have him because he looks so goofy. Yeah. Can't think of what it is. Oh, and by the way, I don't really have any Godzillas, so if you see, the reason why you won't see any Godzillas is because anything related to Godzilla, or mainly related to him, isn't going to be in this video, so I just wanted to let you all know. So there was the black and white version of the same figure. And then here's our first con that I'll have you shown. This was the plain version, which comes with the chains and the plane you see up there on a Tamashi axe stand. Just fiddling with the chains. Which is weird because in the movie, he only has one chain on him when he's loose. Oh well, it's just sort of variety if you wanted it. Here's this uh, third party. I believe it was called Vanilla Ice, but it's like a, it's a V-Rex figure. He doesn't really go with anything for the size, even for like my Monster Arts 2005 Kong. That will be shown because he's smaller than it. Here's a NECA Kong, like the regular one. They came with the base one. And here's like this uh, axe thing. I don't know where I found this axe. It was like years ago. But I used him with other figures, and I just thought, hey, I might as well just give him to this one baseline NECA calm. So, yeah. Putting it down because we have smaller figures in the way, and I'm just trying to find a spot for him right now. That's probably going to be a thing with this video. We're halfway there, guys. Let's see what else we got. But yeah, 
here is the Skull Island one. I'm using different faces to uh, show you the different accessories that come with all three versions that NECA released. And it came with like a stick and a small skull crawler, like the two-legged lizard thing, like a stylized version from the original film in a pteranodon. You'll see them as I plop them on later because they're smaller. Here's the Hiya Toys Kong. Like this is my only Hiya Toys one. I missed out on the Rodan, Mothra, and the Godzilla. I don't really care to get the other, those other three right now because the first Godzilla one had like that pin, and like they're releasing it without a pin for like a 2019 version, and I already have like a NECA Rodan Mothra. I'm fine with those. But I'm looking forward to the Ghidorah and others, like 2014 Skullcrawlers. Sorry to miss out, but there's that 1993 Bandai 62 Kong. He's a little worn down for wear, but he's fine. I, I'm i glad I still have him, even if I don't like the design. And there's like a YMF, YS, YM. Sorry, I can't think of what the initials were but it's that third party calm but it doesn't have like the you know scratches because if they did they would be sued and there's that bandai mechanic calm he's also a little worse for wear i wish he had the grenade belts because that would have been cool so here's like the lanyard leaf wing leaf wing or one of the other versions of it and here is a playmates war brat war bat I want. I will say that the uh, lanyard skull crawler will not be in this video, or the mother long legs, because I right now I couldn't find the mother long legs. I'm pretty sure it's like in storage. And f as for the lanyard skull crawler, I decided to give him. You know, there's another, the uh, the big one, the number ten. The skull crawler I gave to Monster Island buddies, and he's actually in one of the episodes of his, so that was pretty cool. And that, there was the Playmates Gorosaurus. Sorry to skip on that. And there's a Playmates Kong from Kong Skull Island. I had to pay like $60 for that Gorosaurus because he was like scarce when he first came out. And that was like on a deal. Like I was able to ask for less. Here's like that Antarctic calm, The s Snow calm. I swear, like people are like, oh, who will win, uh, Snow Godzilla or Antarctic Kong? Because it's just because they have snow on each other. I didn't really want to get this because he looked really ugly, but I decided why not because he was on sale and I just wanted more Kong figures. The uh, one that you press the button on the side and it makes the roar, even though that Mega Kong also has that and lights. So, yeah, it's just kind of there. And here's like the base version of the Playmates Kong. He doesn't have the axe. That's the one that comes with the axe. But I like him on the other one that came with the plane. So I swapped out the parts. And there's the other one. The one with the more like cr gritting teeth rather than the roar. I like to display like each figure with a different pose of the axe. So they don't all look like the same. And this is a default. Uh... What is it? Monster Series Calm. I wish I could get the uh, exclusive Blu-ray Japanese one that came with the axe. Along with the, um, like, all, pretty much all blue Godzilla because he's so charged up in that. Oh, and here he is, the Monster Arts King Kong 2005. One of the only good CG figures that Monster Arts has ever done. Besides, like, the... Uh, elbow parts because those are get loose and this is actually my second calm figure because when I got it like the arm parts broke so I had to get a replacement and I'm glad that this one hasn't broken yet I say that now and it's probably gonna get broken after I upload this video so and the guy that's like you know coming through this video right now is the uh, new playmates skull island one where he comes with the little chain like ship propeller thing as like the thing people always make fun of with scorpion i can't really find a place for him right now because i was like i don't know what do i do and uh i can't figure out or remember 
who the person was, but these are like fa like homemade figures from King Kong Escapes. So if you see the video, if you were the one that made these figures and you uh, see it, and s just let me know in the comments. So so yeah, I had a King Kong Escapes set with that. I had to get them because you know. And here's the YMF YMSF. Uh, sea snake from King Kong Escapes, the one where the like Kong throws this rock at it and then it just bonks him. And here's the same company that the third party, Giant Octopus. You gotta have the Giant Octopus in your own collection, you know. It's even in a Godzilla collection, come like come on. And here's that Pteranodon or Pterodactyl. I'm not a dinosaur guy. <laughs> from what I said earlier. Here's this little mini Gorosaurus because I really want more Gorosaurus figures. I can't find a place for him right now, so I was like, let's put him right over there. And then, what's next? We have so little space. Oh yes, the mini figure playset that was put into a package and I got this at G-Fest. There is a Godzilla and Behemoth one, but I decided not to include them because they're not, because, you know, it I didn't want any Godzilla stuff. And Behemoth is too specific to Godzilla. So there's that little skull call I mentioned. And the uh, Hellhawk there, I lost the stand for it. I can't, couldn't find it. But he was able to stand up as own. You'll see. Here's that little mini calm. So, and here's the number 10 skull call. I'm going to put him back up. Don't you worry. See, he'll be able to stand. Just... Actually, just standing on the snake. I don't think it really matters. Just take my word for it. What else? Oh, the uh, keychain for the Funko Pop. Now, that's another thing. I know there's some other stuff. Oh, yeah, I was missing some other stuff. Like, here's, like, th those other accessories, those heave stuff that came with all the Playmates stuff. So, I just show them that. So, yeah, there's a lot of minifigures in there. I got this uh, Mechanicom pin as well. That's really neat. We need more Mechanicom. Alright, so here's, like, two different figures here. Because I forgot these three figures right here. This X Plus... 1933 con this was before like in x plus we know today so they're like smaller and they are less detailed and they actually have a few points of articulation and this one came with these are the monochrome versions and con has like a tree in his hand and this is the meteor he's called the meat eater because we don't exactly have like a definitive thing if it's the t-rex or the allosaurus because there's just conflicting things between the people and here's a bandai museum gorosaurus 1967 he has a few points of articulation, and he actually goes really well. And uh, here is the entire figure set, all my figures together, in one little small video. All of them together, just barely, like almost, takes. it just takes up the entire table there. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video, and... By the time you do, I'll probably have a new figure or some new piece of merchandise for King Kong by now. Hope you all enjoy and take care.